So guys, I'm gonna take you through walking lunges. I've got no weights. You can put weights in your hand if you wanted to. You can put a bar across the back. It's up to you. But this is basically the walking lunge. So you can either touch and then step forward, or you can just go straight through with the movement. You can also do this one going backwards as well. So a couple of things I'm doing here while I'm doing a movement. is so I'm thinking about my foot gripping the floor. I'm using the muscles within my feet to grip. I'm thinking about the knee being central as I'm doing the movement. I'm thinking about my core being nice and tight, back being central and head being, head being neutral as well. So as I'm doing the movement, I'm gripping the floor, I'm using my glutes, I'm not letting my knee turn in. I'm not gonna let my knee go out too far. I'm keeping it nice and central, I'm squeezing my muscles, and that's stopping going through the toilet as well, keeping everything nice and tight as I'm doing the lift up. I'm also not jolting too much as well. So I'm nice and slowly putting my foot down and coming up, keeping my pelvis, it's not from turning either way, no tilting with the glutes either side, nice and fixed as I'm doing the movement. So you want to look something like that. So you can progress by having a bar on your back. Still again, everything's nice and sturdy. Nice and solid as I'm doing the movement. You can also do it on the spot as well if you wanted to. So you can just go back to the beginning. There's lots of different variations of doing this, doing this exercise. You can also go back as well. You can do it on the spot if you need to. So guys, that's the lunge. There's lots of variations of it. If you need any help with the gym, feel free to speak to one of the personal trainers. They'll be happy to talk you through it.